So the first type of regeneration that we're going to cover is called passive regeneration. The most important thing for an operator to understand about passive regeneration is that it's an automatic process that utilizes the heat in the exhaust to chemically remove any soot that accumulates in the KDPF. This process will continue as long as exhaust gas temperature meets the minimum required temperatures to oxidize the soot. Since this process is temperature dependent, in colder climate conditions, a higher minimum workload is going to be required to achieve passive regeneration. If your application requires extended periods of idling, Komatsu recommends placing the machines into the proper lock position. For track products, this would include dialing down the throttle and placing the lock levers into the lock position. For wheeled machines, this would be placing the transmission into the neutral position, engaging the parking brake with no throttle input. Once in this position, the Komatsu after treatment system has a built-in feature that will protect the KDPF from excessive soot buildup that can result from long periods of idling or working in light load applications in a cold environment. Okay, so remember, this is an automatic process and there's no interaction necessary from an operator. The machine will just take care of itself. So the harder you work the machine, the better it'll perform. Okay, now we can cover the second type of regeneration, active regeneration. So just like passive regeneration, this is an automatically occurring process that requires no interaction from the operator. So you can continue to operate the machine as normal. So there are two conditions that will trigger an active regeneration. The first is whenever the soot level reaches three bars in the monitor, and the second is a time-based interval between 48 and 96 hours depending on the product. Whenever an active regeneration occurs, an icon will appear on the monitor. This icon is simply to notify the operator that an active regeneration is taking place. So there might be certain applications where it may become necessary for an operator to cancel a regeneration. This process can be performed in the monitor. Okay, so an operator should now have a better understanding of when an active regeneration will occur how they'll be notified that an active regeneration is taking place, and if necessary, how to cancel an active regeneration. Okay, so there's one final aspect of regeneration that we need to cover. If an operator cancels the automatic active regeneration, the machine will request a manual stationary regeneration. The operator will be notified by an indicator in the monitor panel. So to carry out this process, the first thing that an operator needs to do is to move the machine to a location that's open and free from any flammable materials. And then we always recommend following the best practices for parking. For track products, this would include dialing down the throttle and placing the lock levers into the lock position. For wheeled machines, this would be placing the transmission into the neutral position, engaging the parking brake with no throttle input. Now once in this position, the operator can perform the manual stationary regeneration just by simply activating it in the monitor panel. Okay, it's important to note that the machine is going to continue to ask for a manual stationary regeneration until the process is initiated by the operator or until the machine is keyed off. If this is the case, when keyed back on, Komatsu machines are designed to perform an automatic active regeneration. Okay, so the operator should now have a better understanding of the regeneration process for Komatsu's Tier 4 interim and Tier 4 final products. They should know the difference between the two different types of regeneration, when these types of regenerations are used, and the best practices for carrying out a manual stationary regeneration. But remember, Komatsu machines are designed for these processes to occur automatically with minimal operator interaction. The harder you work the machine, the better it will perform.